Hello, 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 and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Soraya Marshall Wright. Welcome to The World According to Soraya. For those of you who do not know, I'm an estate planning attorney in South Carolina, and I help seniors and families with special needs plan for the unexpected and protect their valuables. All right, so we are actually wrapping up our Pride Month series. Last week, I told you that it's extremely important to make sure you have powers of attorney, advanced directives, and even a burial plan in place to ensure that the people you love and trust are not only able to take care of your affairs if you're unable to do so, but are also able to take an active role in the celebration of the end of your life, specifically if you aren't married. This week, we're gonna talk about why it is important, crucial, in fact, for you to have a long-term care plan in place. Now, planning for long-term care is important for everyone. I talk about that all the time. But for those of us in the LGBTQ community, there are some unique challenges that you should, you should consider and therefore planning early is an absolute must. Currently, there are over 3 million seniors over the age of 65 in the LGBTQ community. And of course, they feel they face health issues and, and other issues associated with aging, just like anyone else. However, according to research published by the National Institute of Health, those seniors are more likely to be single, more likely to be without adult children to care for them, and more prone to abuse. So, of course, we know the climate is changing, people are more accepting, but when you're talking about going into nursing homes, you are undoubtedly going to encounter people who have old ways of thinking and people who aren't necessarily accepting. And they're not just residents, they may also be the nurses and the caretakers. Now, you do have options. There are LGBT friendly facilities, but there aren't very many of them. You also have an option to create or establish an aging in place plan. But in order to make all of that work, you have to be proactive about planning. All right. So if you didn't know that when it comes to long term care, you absolutely have options and you definitely should be proactive about planning. Now, you know, and I'll see you next time.